Hey, this is Mick West of Metabunk.org. I think it's really important to get a variety of news sources when you're uh, reading the news. Online, what you can do is obviously you can just go to some news site like, say, CNN and see what's going on there. Here's something, Pense, blah, 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 Donald Trump, some woman. Uh, or you can go to another site, Fox News, see what's going on there. And it's good to get a bunch of different things, but it's kind of messy going amongst all these things. And it takes a long time to go from one to the other and you can't really see them next to each other very easily. So what I do is I use a thing called news.metabank.org. News.metabank.org. And when you go there, Bam, we get 12 different news outlets all at the same time. We've got NBC News, we've got CNN, we've got BBC News, we've got NPR, we've got the New York Times, we've got Zeit Online, which is the German uh, news. We've got Reuters, we've got uh, Zinhao.net, which is Chinese news. Fox News, we've got Breitbart and RT and Press TV, which is the Iranian news site. Now, these are just kind of a... Uh, Cross sample I picked myself just because of uh, sites I tend to look at and tend, sites I tend to look at to get a bit of perspective on what uh, various different people are doing. So how do you get this? Well, you can obviously just go to news.metabunk.org. But if you just go to this uh, right now in, say, Chrome, what you're going to get is something that looks like this. And as you can see, uh, the, the uh, pages are a bit too big. They don't really fit. Half of them are missing. And you have to scroll down to see things. Now, uh, the way to get it to be like I was just showing you is to do two things. First of all, you have to zoom out, which in Chrome you can do by uh, zoom out with command minus. So I'm going to do that, command minus. Press that a couple of times until I get uh, all of the pages back on the screen again. Now, obviously we still got a problem here. It's saying uh, server address could not be found, refused to connect, like all sorts of kind of errors. So what's going on here is I'm loading these in frames and there's some security issues with that. So Chrome stops you from doing that and some sites can decide whether you want to do it, whether they let you do it or not. Uh, if they detect, if a site detects that it's in a frame, it decides not to load because it could be some kind of spoofing thing. So what I do is I install this plugin from the Chrome Web Store called uh, Ignore X-Frame Headers. You would click on this, which will say Install to Chrome. Then you need to go to the settings. You can either click on All Sites for the settings uh, here, or you can just do specific sites and just set the ones that we actually are loading. And once you set that up, then things will actually start working again. Refresh the page. Let me get the whole thing. So here we go, news.metabunk.org. Now, what you can do is you can scroll these with the scroll bars on the side. You can use the scroll wheel and you don't even have to click on each one. If you click on a story, it will open in that page, which you might not want. So what you can do is you can right click on a story and do open link in new tab. And then you can just watch the uh, look at the story uh, in full size. Let's see, I need to zoom out one more here. There we go. So once you've zoomed out fully, you'll get six on the top and you'll get six on the bottom. Uh, Zite Online here, if we do an open a new tab here. Uh, Chrome, if you've got things set up, will translate things for you. You can set it to translate automatically, so I can just read the Zite stories. And that's basically it. Now, how does this work? It's really just uh, a very, very simple web page that I set up on uh, metabunk.org. I put it on the separate news.metabunk.org domain so that the zoom level will be different for news.metabunk versus just Metabunk itself. We don't want the normal Metabunk pages small. But if we go to, let's see, View, Developer, View Source, you can see it's this very, very straightforward page. I'm just gonna zoom in temporarily here so you can see what's going on. I have a little style at the top of the page, which is uh, setting just the size of the frames that I'm gonna use. And then we have the uh, 12 pages that we, we load. So you could very easily change this to something else yourself if you want to stick uh, a similar selection of 12 pages on your own server or uh, even locally perhaps. And uh, uh, it's a very good way of looking at all of the news. I think one thing I notice is obviously you, you've got different sites have different uh, biases. Like obviously Fox News is more of a Trump supporting site. Uh, CNN is a Trump attacking site and 
other sites are somewhat more neutral depending on your point of view. RT pushes the Russian point of view, Press TV pushes the Iranian point of view, Breitbart pushes the Breitbart point of view, and the, the Chinese sites usually just don't really give very much news, anything to do with uh, the US at all. So it's kind of interesting just seeing a uh, country that's really not that interested uh, in the US, except for like, you know, things like trade uh, things. So it gives you a, a bit of a perspective from the outside. But so anyway, this is just a very good way of looking at uh, lots of different websites, lots of different news websites all at the same time. So you don't get stuck into just looking at one site like CNN or Fox News. You get to look at all of them. See what they're trying to tell you.